Here with Vincent Brown ahead of Saturday's home game against Army Prep. Coach, appreciate the time. Sure. Let's talk a little bit about being able to come home for the first time uh, in nearly a month. The last time you played in front of the of Builder Nation was September 30th against uh, the Georgia Warhawks. You get to finish the year with three straight uh, on your home field and get to stay at home. Talk about what that means to your program. Thank you, Walker. As always, thankful and blessed for another week. Uh, being able to be at home in front of our fans, you know, Builder Nation is going to come out. We're going to get our student body to come out and uh, support this team and and finish this thing the right way. And uh, what a, what a challenge! And having Army come down and uh, you know built a relationship with their coach, and it's something that we're going to look to push uh, each year now. And so we just have to be ready to go. Uh, we got to come out fast. Uh, practice has been going great. Um, we know what they're going to do. They're going to run the football. <laughs> I think everybody knows from watching their top team until these guys here, um, they're disciplined. You know, you talk about the, the, the U.S. military, they're a disciplined bunch of guys, and they're going to come and try to be physical. We have to match that physicality, and then we have to put points up. Um, the best way to stop an option is always an offense who can put some points up for you, and then we'll look to force some turnovers on defense. Before we dive into uh – what Army Prep's going to bring in here and the keys for the game. How how neat of it is it for your players that build ships for the Navy uh, and submarines for the Navy and stuff like that behind the gates in the shipyard to be able to play a team that's uh, that's affiliated with the uh, United States military and start to build those type of relationships. I think it's a great it's a great game. It's a great atmosphere. I just think what we do and what they do it all goes hand in hand. We all need each other, and so being able to bridge this gap and 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 with the other military schools, which I look to do in the future, is have these type of games and. Uh, you know, for us, it's being able to go out and compete and for them traveling down here, an opponent, they can compete. But we all share a common goal that we all do something great for this country. And so it's it's great for me. I think it's a great atmosphere for our young men and being able and we, we travel to them next year and being able to go up there and just, you know, see see their facilities and what they do. I think it's great overall for our community and our student body. Army Prep, you mentioned it. They're going to run the football. It's not going to look like what, what Washington and Lee did back on September 24th, but uh, a lot of similar tendencies uh, in what Army Prep's going to do and what the generals did. Just talk about uh, how that game against Washington and Lee over a month ago uh, will help you guys in preparation Absolutely. for this game. Well, I think it, it goes hand in hand. Anytime you face option teams, whether they are option run or option spread, you know that everyone has to do their job and be disciplined. Um, it's going to be a disciplined football game on the defensive side of the ball. Guys know their responsibility, know your keys. And I told these D-backs uh, this week, the defensive backs, you can't go to sleep, okay? They'll run it uh, possession after possession after possession, and then they'll – play action and go right over the top if you're going to sleep so we have to be aware we have to be disciplined and we have to be physical and on the offensive side of the ball we have to be physical in our run game and uh start to uh air, air it, go downfield as well biggest key as uh you guys come home uh in terms of getting army prep under your belts and uh moving on to these final two home games of the regular season how do you want to start this home standoff well First and foremost, we just want to be disciplined and dominant in everything that we do. We want to play this game the right way with great effort, uh, be confident in each other, celebrate with each other, and enjoy the game of football. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. May the best team win. But I want our guys to start embracing each other. Yeah, we have challenges on and off the field each week. But start embracing what you can control and go out there and play the game that you love. Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck, and uh, uh, go get them. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.